Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, we travel around Carillon, uh, and uh, we're doing quests over here. Uh, we had a quest, uh, was it a shift of perspective? Uh, we can gain penances of that, but we don't need that. We have to cure our soul. Our soul is very bad, um, but uh, but there there's people over here. The ordeals and whatnot. There it is. The professional penitent. What? Was it not here? Oh, because the ordeals are too difficult and I didn't do it. It was not here. But the deprivation, I can do that again. I think deprivation is easy-ish. Easy -ish. Our terror is in terrible shape. But uh, the Stunted Grove is not where we are supposed to go. We need to go to the... Oh, the Garden of Insatiable Souls for sure. Uh, because we also need to cure our soul from here. Um, so we can approach the Hellish Penitent over here and offer a serving of self-knowledge. She's facile and changeable. Can the truth alter that? Thanks, she says dubiously, considering the penance. It's coiled up on itself rather vegetable vegetal, and uh, with a stink halfway between old flowers and burnt hair. Then he takes hold. She wears the expression of someone easing into a too-hot bath. Finally, when she's acclimatized, she says, Yes, well, that was misguided to come here. I see now how it is. She pushes a tower of books in your direction. They have titles like The Truth About Hell and True Tales of Horror and From Within the Brass Embassy. They were having me re read these for penance. You can keep them if you want. And we got a bunch of Tales of Terror and also um, a bit of experience, which is pretty good as well. So I can cure my soul, uh, but I will need to come back here later because the, the, we can't be accepted unless we have the... Uh, It says, I need a clear soul to be admitted. I'm not actually sure. Cure your clear soul. Yeah, clear soul is also another thing. So we got the penitent ape over here that requires excess or inescapable truths. There, There's, there's a lot to do over here. So excess is over here. Let's see. That's 50%. Okay. 50% that goes up by a little bit. My terror is definitely going to go up. Um, but I also need... Penis Endurance. Deprivation. That's the one. How much do I need that? 72. Okay. Let's just change our officers and get two of those. And I'm doing that a lot recently. Because, uh, yeah. Well, our terror is just... It, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. <laughs> I want to do this, though. I want to do it. So, uh, deprivation. Gain a penance of deprivation. I need five. Okay. We have 70-something percent chance to succeed, so I suppose... 82. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Being lucky here. Mm, not too shabby. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. Lucky me. Okay. And then we have... That was that provision. I need excess. And uh, let's see what I can do here, over here. And what chances they are. 57. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Can't believe it. I'm gonna fail now. <gasps> I'm gonna fail everything for days. Yeah. Okay. Here the days come. Yeah. I need two more, I think. Oh, we can hear the things on the edge of our... Of our... Hearing. Oh, my God. That actually worked. Relatively well. Okay. Um, don't cure anything for that right now. 
There's no horror curing here either, so we're definitely gonna get a nightmare. Uh, I can do that. that. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so let's just go to all the places to make sure that I don't have anything here. Because what we're looking for is for people who need help. And there's seven places. Or eight places. Um, so there's just a bunch of people that need help. And one of them I can't help. Because it's the one that required... No, no, no. It was the one that I thought I couldn't help. Uh, the one that required uh, strength or irons or whatever. So the first three are good. There's no real gate. Approach the professional penitent. I need an ordeal. Just the one? Huh. Okay. I should I should have I should be able to do that. Thirty-two percent chance to. Mm, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. Can I get my irons up? I think it's... Oh, we got something over here. It's not too shabby. Why does the pop-up freak out, by the way? Okay. And immediately things don't work quite as they should. Uh, let's see what I can do here with your deal. It's a 40%. Oof. Lucky. A confident gentleman has no family, and wishes for none. Until the penitent recovers from this inclination, he has been locked alone in an icy cage, but seems not to mind as much as the devils might have hoped. Supervising devilus makes notes. These are all mixed together, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, these are all... You probably. I, I think I said this already, uh, for one, but also you probably noticed it just as much as I did, or even better than I did. Um, but, um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're just randomly generated. So here we go, the professional penitent. Donate ordeal and deprivation to the professional. She likely has a use for these for her current customer or for a future one. She accepts both penances gratefully. Let me pay you, she says. Deprivations are not my favorite. I still do them, of course. There's no, nothing I want to live through for a client. But the fasting gets dull. So nice to be able to stock this without having to do it myself. Um, and I gained the Savage Secret, a bunch of experience, and, uh, and I completed that mission as well, which is, at the end of the day, what we're here for. Uh, wait, 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 do I also have a, a, a broken soul in that? Because I know I can't do it, but what is that? You need cold. Right, 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 okay. So these are just general penances. We need to have general penances, and we fix them wherever we need to. Okay, it's pretty good. The first four are done. And there are indeed, indeed seven. And then we can go to the Garden of Insatiable Roses. I think there was somebody else over here. Or in the next one over. It was in the next one over. Oh, we're about done with this. I'm glad that we are. Because that way we saw everything. This is a fun area, though. The devils are quite something. Uh, I can gain a great deal of, endur uh, of uh, endurance penance. Really? Interesting. The penitent ape here does need a little bit of... Oh, it's actually an escapable truth, but we have enough of the excess here. There are things you have seen and learned in your sojourn in the gardens of insatiable roses. It's true that the soul of a dead being cannot be significantly changed, but the gambler does the... But but the gambler, does the ape still have the corpse handy? Might it not be taken where death is more forgiven, forgiving? So sudden a resurrection alone might be enough to make useful alterations in the gambler's attitude to death. It is a long journey from here to any place where death is so forgiving, but the ape seems game and well-provisioned. He pays you for your insight. Uh, and uh, we uh, did not get anything from that. Uh, actually, so I can cure... My, we have a lot of things that we need to, to cure. Uh, but now for the last one. I think I, I've done this one, though. The, the person who was here. And also... Yeah, I, I did. Um, also, I need to cure my flickering soul. You know what? Let's just make sure I go through the order. I've stained clear and flickering. Well, now, nah, let's do it. So, first off, 
we go with stained. We're gonna cure my stained soul. Perhaps you've looked into topics you should not have. Perhaps your soul has been consumed and spat out again by an unspeakable beast. Yes, it has. Yes, it very much has. There are, of course, still a number of other things. Oh yeah, that's just that's just how it goes. We gain a bunch of things from doing that, though, as well as the experience. So now, can we not come back? Yes, we cannot come back. So we, that's lovely. We did all the things that we could. Including helping the people. And I can cure my clear soul. Disregard of death is a serious flaw. It displeases the Blue Kingdom. It makes the devils tut. Oh, I, 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 sh I shall. I shall do pen it, do much penance. There we go. And now we have the last one. The Terrace of Glass Statues. Fail to see my reflection. In the statues, not in the mirrors. Uh, and then clear or cure my flickering soul. Maybe you found yourself lying as a matter of course. Maybe you've forgotten a few inconvenient aspects of yourself. We didn't read... Uh, uh, some of them have bigger descriptions than others. The penance rushes in, one by one. You remember things you'd obscured from yourself. Like a dreamer shaking off the lingering illusions. Your soul is nearly in good condition now. Uh... What do you mean, nearly in good condition? I can cure it again? Maybe... The penance rushes in, one by one, you remember? Your soul is pristine as a newborn, a newborn baby's. That was... That was a bad soul that I had. Oh my god. I was all... Rubbish. Not rubbish. Dirty. What's the word for dirty? I was dirty. Oh, man. And now for the big challenge, actually. Braving the world with nightmares. Or with terror, rather. People are going to start throwing themselves off, of the, off the ship in no time. All because I had to do those checks. I wonder if the game keeps track of how much terror you gain through options. Because my terror that I've gained through options must be around 10 billion. Okay, that's not the terror kicking in. That's, that was just fuel. We see you. It's going to kick in before I arrive, isn't it? The Mercy of Colors. That's a cool name for a ship. Uh, 64. Go for it. Who succeeded? Oh man, the soundtrack as well. Holy crap. The wreck gleams with frost. Its windows are dark. Your driver holds your locomotive steady alongside the, the wreck as your crew take turns at the pry bar. Eventually, the bay doors are su sufficiently parted to permit the spryest of you to squeeze through. Soon they return. And what's this they have found? Fragile contest, the contents do not shake, append, or discommode. I didn't even, don't even know what discommode means. It's another an otherworldly artifact. Also a reach marauder, but I'm good with that. It's also not attacking me for reasons. I don't actually know. Maybe it's scared of how scared I am. We got two ship, ships up ahead, and there it is. An argument breaks out between two crewmen. One owes the other money, but cannot repay it. Unfortunately, the debt was sworn on the name of the borrower below, a roving god of the deep skies and a keeper of contracts, or compacts. The borrower has a low opinion of the Oathbreaker. Your crew mutter darkly. They fear that this will bring them bad luck. I'm gonna take on and pay the Oathbreaker's debt. Skyfarers have intend invented a thousand ways to placate the Burrower, for she is liberal with her displeasure. One allows a new person to take on the promise made another made. Okay. One of her crew, tattooed with dragons, acts as an occasional me mediator with a Burrower. She conducts a simple midnight ceremony in which you recite the promise that was made and immediately pay the amount owed. Your purse is lighter, but the debtor, the detty, and the, medi the mediator seem happy. Outside, the sky's fogs are thick as soup. 
They are Thika soup, but not nice, n not nearly as tasty. And that thing over there is the thing that I can borrow from. And also, funnily enough, coincidentally enough, the first time we heard of the borrower, or bar borrower, uh, I don't think I can do anything in in Lustrum to lower my terror. I don't also don't know what happens if we reach a hundred terror. I would say that the game would always check on us. Ooh, that's a cut. That's a shortcut there. Check on us and, and throw a nightmare event at us. I thought that that was a nightmare event at us that we just got, but maybe it's just the chances of thing bad things happening that go up. Oh, look at that! It's another one of those! Yay! It's like a bubble bumblebee! Okay. It's also super ugly and bad. It, that is not a good ship. I don't know why they have that. <laughs> okay. Lustrum is such a peculiar place. Let me arrive there with my full crew! Why is this? they changed the soundtrack for High Terror? My God. <laughs> uh, I'm arriving. Please. I didn't mean to. Ah, okay, we're here. Ah, the mountain sings. Is that a good thing? Join the celebration. Yeah. Cheers. Soundtrack went away. Of course it did. Let's explore Lustrum. Write a port report. That's what we're here for, among other things. Um, explore Lustrum. Nothing happens. Uh, the Hangman Pub. Visit the Windward Company. Mercatroyd's Golden Tea Shop. Enjoy a lovely cup of tea. Wait, we didn't have this before. Did, did we? My terror has fallen for five sovereigns. And I've, yeah, we can't do that again. Right, right, right. So we can do that only every once in a while. Two uncanny specimens for a savage secret. Oh, there's also the inventions. That's right. This is the one that makes the inventions. Their sister is bad. Uh. Mm, is it? Is is it her? You must wait a little longer. I know. I know. I must. It's bad. Okay. Well, uh, that's that. Hangman Pub, buy a round of drinks for the miners, approach the figure in the corner. I don't remember what that is. The mountain sings no more. It sits wrapped in a dusty, disintegrating shroud, nursing a flagon that never goes to where its lips presumably are. Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the Mr. Menagerie thing. Mr. Pennies, that's right! How could I have forgotten? Uh, but nothing, nothing here. And uh, buy around for the miners. Gossips about recent troubles. It's them windward bastards, ain't it? Didn't I? Didn't mind them when. Uh, didn't mind them sending around their netties. Honest competition. Lads enjoy the distraction. But did you see the state of that Parsifal lad? The miners huddle. That weren't wind for windward. That's them night hunters they talk off. Tearing folk up with their claws and teeth and eating them whole. All you can see is a black rush before your eyes and then snap. Okay, that's bad news. Also, it didn't lower my terror, which I was actually hoping for. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to Mr. Pennies anymore. Uh, let's explore Lustrum here. The Windward Company. But they don't like me, I don't think. Yeah. Attempt to climb the mountain in search of the singing caves. That'd be fun. But it's very low chance, so I would die a lot. So I can turn the chart nameplates of into ministry stamped permits. Uh, but this is different. No, no, this also gains uh, gratitude of the Tackities. So I can also turn them into ministry ministry stamped permits. I th I have a lot of those, don't I? Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, I might need the um, otherworldly artifacts though. No, I have a lot of those as well. Moment of inspiration. I think I, I am losing... I did lose some of those. Uh, and also for sovereigns. Yep. 
Let's go with the moment of ins uh, maybe sovereigns. Let's go with the sovereigns. How much? 750. That's pretty good. And also the reputation goes up and the Windward Company remains unchanged at zero. Uh, and maybe that's the reason why they, they, are, they they're like offset. Because the... Uh... Oh, that's the reputation though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're... I need to trade the reputation for uh, actual... Oh, that's much better than... Uh, this is much better than, than uh, trading port reports then. Because we're, next we're going back to New Winchester and we should be capable of, of uh, trading the this 15 reputation. Or grat gratitude, rather. It's 17 hiccups, I'm sorry. Into their actual fate. So we should be fine there. Pretty good. Pretty good. And of course a lot of money, which is always nice. Um... I claim it's silent. Yep, we know that. It has been for a while and basically wasted everybody's time. <laughs> um, Gord of Chorister Nectar. Uh, that's good enough. Right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now do we go through the terror. I don't want to go through the terror. Go south. We go through Port Avon. Because that way we also collect uh, something from Port Avon. I really thought there was going to be... Did I switch you all? Yeah, I did. Otherwise the game would shout at me. Um, I really thought there was going to be a, a quest over there in Lustrum. I remembered there were quests scattered around the, the Reach for, for people. Speaking of which... Let's have a chat with the Fatalistic Signalman. Actually, let's not do that at the moment. I don't wanna... Cause I can't, um... Let's not do that, cause I can't continue rec I've been recording for like two hours now. Um, I can't continue recording at the end of this episode. And I don't wanna have a chat and then not be able to save. So I should have chat chatted with him before leaving. I should, I definitely should have chatted with him for sure. But the, because you know, the earlier you do it, the earlier you do it, the uh, um, the the more you know where you're supposed to go. Uh, that is another worldly artifact. Burn it. Burn the other worldly artifact. We didn't lose terror, but at least we didn't gain nightmares. It's fine. We have plenty of time. Actually, I say we have plenty of time. Port Avon does sell fuel and supplies, so I think we're going to be fine. But the longer we stay out in the sky, the more we risk, of course. Here it goes. Uh, okay. Salome's fall. Poor Salome. Salome? Salome is a Portuguese name. With the, the accent like that as well. Some souls, okay. Now, have we been here before? Let's send the bat out. Just in, in case we find anything interesting. We got a thing over there. It's a good thing I'm not there, isn't it? It also means that there's nothing for us. Also, we might have found that. Full steam ahead. Also, let's look at how, how much money I have right now. Because we did lose a bunch, but... Oh, no, I pressed J. Sorry. Oh, 6,900. Nice. Okay. It's not too bad. My terror is a concern, though. It, it, it's, it's always going to be a concern. I don't think there is an easy... Terror... Uh, terror depleting area in this, in this map. Unlike the other ones. All the other ones have that. I don't remember. I just, I, I don't think there is. Maybe, oh no, actually there is in Magdalene's. I was gonna say maybe um, over here, because I tend not to go there as much. For a, uh, I, I do know why, because there's just not as many things over there. I mean, there are a bunch, but they're tricky to get to. Look at that. If you want to go around, it's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, I tell you. Uh, what are we getting into right now? 
Cuddles com. An abandoned signal box. Uh, that's the ones. Yeah, Sky Stories. Good. Let's not raid the, like the cache or the whatever. Oh, also you. Hello. No, I I'd rather not. Oh my god. Those things home. Okay. Can't and Caddy going around. It's just the wildlife, you know. It's a lovely place out here today. The Can't and Caddy is looking at me though. I don't like that. Don't look at me. I'm shy. Uh, we have an insane thing, I think. Fragmentary. Yep. I wonder where the heck we can get that. It's probably in in, in uh, London. Because it tends to be there. I do know there's something else in London that I haven't, that I didn't get. But we're finally here in Port Haven for another port report. And also for the end of the episode. Because for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.